He took the stand against his lawyer's advice, heaving, sobbing as he told the jury that he killed Jesse Davis by accident. But did he shoot himself in the foot by taking the stand? Joining us now is criminal defense attorney Gwen Lindsay Jackson. Thanks for being here. Okay, uh, your lawyers tell you don't take the stand. He does anyway. What does it say? Well, it tells me that he really is just, um, he's not thinking clearly. He doesn't know what he's doing in terms of how to handle himself mm -hmm. in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. And we see that, you know, he didn't take his lawyer's advice. I think if he did not take the stand, he had a better shot because this is what we have. We have the prosecutor that did not have a clear proof that this woman died of strangulation because the body was so decomposed. Right, so it gives them a, a larger burden of proof to prove. But, you know, at the same time, then, when you watch Bobby Cuts Jr. on the stand, he keeps on talking and he's sobbing and he's talking about, I couldn't believe this was happening. He, he, he allegedly uh, accidentally kills the girlfriend and then goes and takes a shower. Okay. And he says, the whole time I'm thinking, I can't believe this is happening, instead of, I can't believe she's dead. It More really, self-absorbed, it seems. Oh, it sure does. And that's a problem. That's a problem. He's, it's absolutely devastating. He's not going to be able to overcome that. He's not getting any sympathy from the jury. And as you said, he looks like he's self-absorbed. He doesn't really care about the victim. It kind of looks like he's upset that he's in this position, not that he's sorry he committed the act. Now, his lawyer, right before uh, a couple breaks ago when we saw it, he was saying uh, he did the wrong thing at first by dumping her body, but then he did the right thing. He turned the wrong decision into the right decision by finally leading authorities to the body. But there is a but. He did it, they say, because they knew that he was not where he said he was the day that, uh, that she disappeared. Yeah, it really goes to, well, he thought he was going to get caught. And then he led think the authorities. That's I think that's what it is. I think that's clearly what, how the jury is going to take it. And in all honesty, I really think he should not have taken the stand. He is self-destructing and he destroyed his chances. When you take a look at the lack of evidence, and again, because the body was so decomposed, does, that, does him taking the stand make it much easier for the prosecution to sway the jury? It sure does, because we look at what the prosecution didn't have. They did not have a body that clearly showed that she died of strangulation. They had no expert testimony to that fact, except now they have this statement that he did kill her. And then they have this sort of story that he killed her with his elbow. I mean, it just does not make sense. Mm -hmm. when, you, uh, when you have been in the courtroom, do you ever run across people like this that, tell, you know, you hire a lawyer and then you tell them, I'm not heeding your advice. I'm going on the stand. I'm sort of sobbing. He kept on putting himself out there. Even when they were looking for, the, for Jesse's body, he 